The Seven Trumpets of Revelation Part 1 We continue with the seventh seal that's being opened. When Yeshua opens the seventh seal, it divides into seven subsections of God's judgment on Rome. These are called the seven trumpets. Revelation 8.1 When the Lamb broke the seventh seal, there was a silence in heaven for about a half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Trumpets in the Old Testament sometimes was a sign of judgment on a pagan nation. For instance, Israel blew the trumpet before the walls came down on Jericho. Yahweh is now avenging the blood of the martyred saints that cried out to him in the previous chapter of Revelation, crying out, How long, O Lord? Now their prayers are being answered by Yahweh's seven trumpets. Revelation 8, verse 4 and 5. And the smoke of the incense, with the prayers of the saints, went up before God out of the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were followed peals of thunder and sounds of flashes of lightning and an earthquake. At the start of the seven trumpets, pagan Rome is at this time divided into three major parts. The first four trumpets take down the western one-third part of Rome. This includes Gaul, Spain, and Italy. Let's get started. The first trumpet, the Visigoths, or the Goths, led by King Alaric, came from the north like a hailstorm, burning up a third part of Rome's land. Everything in its path was burned, forestry, farms, and villages. Revelation 8-7 The first sounded, and there came hail and fire, mixed with blood, and they were thrown to the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. The second trumpet, the Vandals, led by Genseric, who was known as the Tyrant of the Sea. Genseric fought Rome at the Mediterranean Sea, destroying Rome's navy and turning the sea red from spilled blood. Revelation 8.8 8. The second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third temple, the Huns, led by Attila, who's known as the Great Star in verse 10. Starting his invasion around 451 AD, him and his men killed nearly 300,000 Romans, their blood turning the rivers of the Italian Alps red and causing it to turn bitter and deadly to drink. Hence, it's described as wormwood. Revelation 8.10 the third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers, and on the springs of water. The name of the star is called Wormwood, and a third of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died from the waters, because they were made bitter. The fourth trumpet, the Hurali, led by Odiaser, starting at 476 A.D., this is the official year that the western one-third part of Rome has fallen. The sun, moon, and stars represent leaders of a kingdom, like the Senate of Rome, and Romulus Augustulus, being the last Roman emperor of the west, was captured. Romulus was the top leader of the one-third of the Roman army, empire, the west, so his removal represents one-third of the sun and the moon and the stars being darkened. Revelation 8.12 The fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun and a third of the moon and a third of the stars were struck, so that a third of them would be darkened, and the day would not shine for a third of it, and the night in the same way. I will be making a part two for the last three trumpets. 
These last three trumpets are also known as the three woes. Please share and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Also, if you feel led to, please check out my Patreon link in the description below. Thank you and Shalom.